Hey Skelly, can you give me a hand with something? Hey, my name is Stan Prokopenko, welcome to Proko. It's important to understand the bones if you want your drawings to be anatomically solid and if you ever want to invent. This is especially true with the hands. Science tells us that hands are like 90% bone. Get this part right and the rest is easy. Thank you, science. No problem. Let's start with proportion. The length of the whole hand is about equal to the length of the face. Within the hand, there are three important divisions. The wrist, palm, and fingers. Or to use the bone terms, the carpus, metacarpus, and phalanges. We can quickly and accurately find these proportions with the half method. Take the distance from the wrist to the end of the middle finger and divide it in half. This marks the end of the metacarpals at the knuckles. To find the three finger joints, Divide it in half again, and again. You can divide that last unit in half again to find the fingernail. The knuckles don't line up horizontally, so draw the rest of the fingers a little bit shorter than you drew the middle finger. Find the knuckles with curved rhythms. The webbing of the palm extends beyond the knuckle, about halfway to the first joint. So fingers appear longer when looking at the back of the hand and shorter when looking at the palm. Keep that in mind when you're measuring. The halves method is based on the length of the bone, not the skin. With that said, let's jump right into the wrist. Carpals. There are eight wrist bones, and each one is completely irregular. Nope, they're not easy. But they're not important either. Individual carpal bones are basically never visible, even when the wrist is fully flexed, so you don't need to study each one. Instead, let's study the big form. From above, the wrist bones have a half circle shape. They pop right into the concave socket of the radius. Together, the wrist bones form a tunnel, hollow on the palm side, which tendons and nerves pass through to get to the fingers. This is the carpal tunnel of carpal tunnel syndrome. Remember to rest and stretch, everybody. Metacarpals. Metacarpus, meaning beyond the wrist, refers to the bones of the palm. Their overall length and width makes a square shape. The palm has a distinct top, bottom, and side planes. So think of the metacarpus as a box, plus a triangle for the metacarpal of the thumb. The tunnel shape we saw at the wrist echoes throughout the whole hand. Here the palm is hollow, and the highest point of the tunnel is the middle finger. This is especially visible when you're drawing a fist. The middle finger knuckle sticks out the most lengthwise too. No! The metacarpals and phalanges use roughly the same design. The shaft can be simplified into a cylinder or box form that tapers to be thinner towards the fingertips. It's straight along the top, but concave along the bottom. The far end has a convex bump that fits into the concavity of the next bone. The metacarpals can be easily felt and seen on the back of your hand, especially at the knuckles. The form of the knuckles is a wide box with a ball at the joint. The top plane between the ball and box is a trapezoid. The phalanges. Each finger has three sections called phalanges, connected by hinge joints. The thumb is different. It only has two phalanges past the metacarpal. But I prefer to think of the metacarpal of the thumb 
as its third phalanx. As far as joints and functionality, it's more similar to the phalanges of the fingers than the metacarpals of the fingers. As I said, technically the thumb has only two phalanges, but because its metacarpal is extra flexible, it has great range of motion. The fingers don't extend from the palm in straight parallel lines, but actually curve towards the middle finger. It's subtle, but it's there. The form of the phalanges follows the same pattern we saw with the metacarpals. Each section is boxy with a slight arc at the bottom. The fingertips taper off, ending with a flat plane. When sketching fingers, you can use a sphere to place the joints and a cylinder to connect them. Think of the palm and wrist as boxes. We'll talk about the surface forms of the hands in more detail in a future lesson. For now, let's focus on this basic wireframe. If you'd like to see a detailed narrated demonstration of me drawing dynamic hand bones, check out the premium version of this lesson. Assignment. Your assignment is to simplify the hand bones into their basic forms. Draw from life using your own hands or draw from the 3D models of the hand bones I provided you. Broco people, you'll find still images of the hand bones in the description under the video. Premium Proco people, on your Premium Proco dashboard, you have 3D models of four dynamic hand bone poses that you can draw from any angle. You might even try drawing the same hand from multiple angles. And if you really want to challenge yourself, look at the model from one angle, but draw it from a different angle. After you're done drawing, you can rotate the camera to match your drawing angle to check your accuracy. This exercise will help develop your ability to invent hands from imagination. So we have a premium section for students that want to learn more. The premium section has extended lessons with more information about the topic. It also has additional drawing demonstrations. If you do the assignments for each lesson, these demonstrations serve as the answers for the assignment so you can check your work. There's an ebook version of each lesson that you can download as a PDF. Print them out or keep them on your device so you can quickly review the lessons. And finally, the premium section has 3D models that you can spin around, study, and draw from any angle. If you don't want your drawings to look like this, go to proco.com anatomy. If you like this video, don't be all selfish. Share it with your friends. And if you want to be updated about new videos, click this button or go to proco.com slash subscribe. This is especially visible when you're drawing a fist. The middle finger knuckle sticks out the most lengthwise too. No.